Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... See? TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Dude, I am. We're playing Madden 21. It is the biggest. Ooh. No. No, toughest. Just, yeah, we're playing Madden 21. Strongest. Uh, Madden. All Madden difficulty arcade mode. <clears throat> playing offense only. Simming that D. Simming it up. Yeah, Ooh. dude. Who got time to play defense? Who ain't got time for that, Jonas? It ain't, I mean, it ain't entertaining to watch me fail. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of could be. I mean, yeah, it's dude, entertaining you know, to watch a person get better. But we can either make the videos like 20 minutes, which is a nice snack size moment, or they'd be 40 minutes. Oh, well, you ain't got to convince me, sir. You got to convince them at home to watch. No, oh, know I never up, knew dude. there was an intro. Yeah, dude, we don't watch It's that. like wrestling intro. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're all. Ooh, ish, we're down by seven already. Already. All right, Jonas, I got a proposition for you. Okay. Sitcom dad battle royale. Who wins? You got a choice between. Oh, oh you're me. I thought I just got. <laughs> no, go. dude. You got here. Here, here are some choices. If you come up with any other sitcom oh, dads. Okay. All right. Cool. So we got Carl Winslow from Family Matters. Okay. We got Uncle Phil from uh, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Okay. We got Tim Allen from either Last Man Standing or Family. What was, what was the show? Home, did improvement. Home Improvement. We got John Goodman from Roseanne. Okay. We got oh ish. I'm getting sacked like a mall effort. <laughs> we've got we've got the the old man from Frasier. I don't remember his name. Oh, I don't know his name. And either. then I don't know, but I figure like any of the three from like Full House. Okay. So who now? The only question, I, you know, I always say I have a stipulation, but the only question I have is like, is this like? Bare hand fighting, or is there weapons involved? Anything goes, or is it like... Yeah, it's no hose barred, but every, the, 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 it's even. The battlefield is even. But uh, it's no hose barred. And then, like, if you can think of an, any other sitcom dads that might, like, even overpower any of those choices, I'm just telling you. I was thinking Tony Danza from Who's the Boss. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good choice. And he's not really the dad, but he's like the, nah, ma the yeah, male yeah. main character figure. Oh, see, and, and when you start going that road, I'm like, toss Scott Bayo in there. Oh, Charles and Charlie, he was kind of a P, though, dude. He was a dad, though. He was the dad figure of the, of the house. But, oh, yeah. ish. Uh, LL Cool J. What show was he in? Where he was like the he was what? like the butler guy that lived with the family. He was like their uh, he was like their helper. Is that in the house? No. What was that show? I, I totally no forgot idea. it existed until right now. Well, I was I remember LL Cool J being in a sitcom. It was though. like yeah, he was like their nanny or something. Like yeah. why is LL Cool J anyone's <laughs> nanny? Because he was too cool to be a nanny. Yeah, dude, it was like he can't be a nanny. Yeah, or uh, basically the same way people look at me at work. <laughs> Al Bundy. Oh, Al Bundy would like yeah. dip his fists in glue and then glass. Yeah, Al Bundy does not give, give a care about his own personal health. <laughs> he would he would damage himself. He cut his own arm off and kill you with it. Yeah, that's right. He'd be like, I can strangle you with my arm. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um. So biggest one that I see, at least on on the short list that we have right now, is Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil is a big man. He's the biggest guy out of the bunch. Yeah, he's also probably one of the slowest. True, true, true. There's that whole there's that whole thing about like. The big guy, like he may be slow, but if he catches you, yeah. Uh oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> like once once he can put hands on you and 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 his weight behind it, it's 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 gonna be tough. All right. Right. Like right. wrestling the big dude, you don't want to do but that. If you, but yeah, like so. But if you're taking somebody like uh, like Joey from uh, Full House, who's probably no. pretty quick because no. he's like a giant wuss, dude. <laughs> like. <laughs> Joey would run. He would run around him in circles, dude, while, like, Stamos kneecapped him. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're not teaming up. They're separate. Yeah, but it's, like, everyone versus everyone. It's but I feel up. like Joey would lose to Stamos in a heartbeat. Like, yes. as soon as Joey and, and Stamos, if Uncle Jesse meet up, Uncle Jesse's just going to kill him. It would, like, in a heart. He, Uncle Jesse looks like he has a switchblade under his tongue. A whole switchblade. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a, <laughs> wow. And then I, Bob, it's a razor blade. But and I'll, then out of the three, Bob Saget. He's the wild card, dude. dude. He's like eight feet tall. He has like the wingspan of like three American Greater Bald Eagles, and he knows Muay Thai. At least in my mind. I was like, is that fact? <laughs> at least 
least in my mind, like, he knows Muay Thai. That does not seem like it's a true statement, but I'll roll with it. I don't man. know, dude. He has that Saget build. Saget. Yeah, dude. From Street Fighter. Um, yeah. Yeah, dude. He does kind of look like that yeah. guy. He's he no. a tiger uppercut. I'm just saying, he has the long arms. That was Dalsim. <laughs> What's Well, who's the guy from uh, Step by Step? Oh, Patrick Duffy. Patrick Duffy. Dude. Wow. Why does this new tight end keep dropping passes, dude? <laughs> I am not happy with him. Um, yeah, Patrick Duff, he seems like, you know what? He seems like the guy who would have, like, some heroin and a syringe, and he would, like, what? He would, like, he would, like, Jesus. stab you with it, like, when you weren't paying attention, like, and he would, like, get you, he would, like. So he'd be underhand. Or he'd have, like, some saying. Drano in a syringe or something, and he would, like, he would get you. Like, you'd be like, oh, I'm okay. He'd be like, and you'd just, like, fall over. But you don't think he can fight, though. No. He'd, have to, he'd have to be he'd be like clandestine and just like sneaky about or he it. would be that guy that like you didn't expect it and then he would just go he would just wow out to the point where he would like rip someone's neck out okay okay you know like, there's always the guy that you're like yeah 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 like oh he ain't got and all of a sudden you're like wow he just killed a man <laughs> okay like i feel like that would be the dad from uh growing pains the psychiatrist guy oh Alan yeah Pitt, dude he would just like all of a sudden like Someone would blink, and there would be, like, a dead man, and there would be, like... <laughs> I picture him being the guy that'd be like, look, I just want to have a talk with you. And then he'd, like, get you... Karate Kid, dude! <laughs> he did it! <laughs> that was bad for him. Yeah, really. I picture, I picture the guy from... Uh, what, what were we just talking about? Growing Pains? Yeah. I picture him sitting down with you, trying to discuss it with you, and then, like, getting you a drink, and he comes over with both drinks, set one down on the table for you, one down for him. You, you know, you sip your drink. And then after the conversation, he's like, by the way, I poisoned your drink. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> goodbye, sweet prince. And then they're like, what? And, and then he's you're like, like what? dead. By, in fact, just about now, you should start losing feeling. All, yeah, all, should. all feeling in your feet. And he's like, no. And your throat should start closing up, and you just like die in front of him. Yeah, like the guy who like describes what's going to happen to you as yeah. it's happening. Yeah, dude. And I could weird. just see him like spinning his drink in the, in the glass <laughs> and taking a sip as he walks off. That's the kind of guy he would be. But see, I don't know if that's gonna win in the battle royale, Jonas. Like, uh, well, yeah, because you can't get like you can't get so to, like far. drink. I mean, you'd be like, "Oh, you guys parched? <laughs> Would you like a soda?" I, f I feel like he'd be like, "No, tell me about your problems." You know? Yeah, I don't know. Um, my two dads, dads. I don't remember like what they were about, but mm. one was Paul Reiser. Oh my God, Paul Reiser is a not killer. Win anything. Wow, really? Nah, dude. The other guy, he was like, he had like the one earring and he had the beard and the yeah. stylish hair, dude. Now I feel like those two could fight together because it's my two dads. What would Samantha be doing? I don't know who Samantha. Well, that was is. their daughter. Wow. She called her Sam though. You're right. I just it pop. I haven't thought about that show since I was <laughs> dead. Yeah, since you were like since I, was, I was an embryo. Since you were like 21. <laughs> <laughs> that's how old I was when it came out. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I was just thinking about this the other day, and I just kept coming back to, like, I picture Uncle Phil, like, in, like, a fight. You just, like, put him in a ring. I picture, like, Uncle Phil because he's going to be able to take the most damage, and he's going to be the guy that if he gets a hold of you, it's it's over. Okay. He'll just, like, right. bite into your skull. I mean, honestly, that's my champion, Jonas. Who, who's your champion? I could see you picking Bob Saget. I could see you picking Tim Allen. I could see you picking. Do not slip on Roseanne's husband. He's like an Uncle Phil dynamic. Exactly. Like I and didn't you ever see the movie with the Cloverfield Lane? I feel like oh, that was a good movie. Yeah, and his part in that movie, he was scary, dude. Yeah, that was like the sequel. Yeah. Um. And, uh, like, I could see, like, he would be the type of dude that would have, like, a shank. Yes. Like a sh made What out the F, dude? Get out of animal the bone. accelerated clock is not supposed to run in under two minutes. And it did, and I would have called the timeout if not. That's, F it. That's We're going to lose. That's Anyways. That's yeah, dude, he was, uh, he was, he was like the biker guy, dude. The biker guy? That, <clears throat> it's fine, Jonas. We're down really, by ten, bro. I needed it's, that. It's really okay, Jonas. It's not. It's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, dude, I think Uncle Phil would be good. But no, <laughs> I think John Goodman is a is a close yeah, second. Yeah, dude. Let me think. Hold on. There has to be a dad we're forgetting. There has to be a dad we're Put forgetting. Put a dad in the comments. <laughs> Put my, my, my dad. dad is the best dad. <laughs> my dad's awesome. He works for sanitation. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. You're Rock. Thinking? 
Rock. Charles S. Dutton, dude. He was the garbage man, dude. He, oh, did he have a daughter in that show or son? I don't remember. I don't think he was a dad. I think his dad was the dad. It was him and his wife. What about the guy from Sanford and Son? <laughs> Red Fox. <laughs> oh. you think Red Fox would just like fake a heart attack. <laughs> he would just play. He would and then just play like possum. there'd be one guy left. He'd stand up behind him and like stab him in the neck. <laughs> Jed Clampett. From Ooh. the Beverly Hills. <laughs> Archie Bunker, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Did you picture Archie Bunker against Carl Winslow? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great, dude. Dude, it would be an interesting. Oh, my God. Yeah, I wish they would do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is the view so jacked up? Dude, right there's now? so many sitcom, like family sitcoms. Yeah, too. Oh, yeah, there really is. There's a trillion <laughs> of them. I wrote down as many as I could think of in the moment, but there's like a trillion of them. Yeah, there really is, dude. Oh, there we go. Like, not getting into like, uh, what do you call it? Oh, the dad from ALF, dude? No, he was a B. He was basically uh, Emilio Estevez. He was, he looked nothing like him. He kind of, he was, I mean, but they were basically the same thing. Like... (laughs) <laughs> what about, do they have to be real? Could it be like Homer yeah, Simpson? Yeah, see, and I was thinking that, and I feel like, yeah, they got to be real, dude, because Brady Bunch dad. Mike now, Seeger? He was cut, dude. Like, I he mean. He was a military man. And I, Yeah, and I don't mean just circumcised. I mean, he was cut, dude. He could, he, like, he used to play football in the 70s, dude. He was a beast. Yeah, he was everybody's heartthrob, dude. <laughs> he was everybody. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody wanted to date the dad from, uh, oh my, dude, why is there so much pressure yeah, on Yeah, see, and Malcolm in the Middle, dad, that's not going to cut Brian it. Brian Cranston? Yeah. That's, but Brian Cranston, Walter White was also a dad. Oh! Brian Cranston in a different form. He was a dad. He had, yeah. he had Walt Jr., dude. Yeah, you're, and you're not even wrong. Like, I feel like Walt, Walter White would be, he was a good dad, dude. But see, he, like, but he's already dangerous. Walter White season one or Walter White season six? <laughs> Does it really matter? Because in the first season he had hair, he was kind of a bee. In the last season, he was like ready to murder somebody. Yeah. He he got corrupted by the game. Wow. <laughs> by the game. <laughs> Tell us about the game, Jones. <laughs> now I can corrupt you. <laughs> you, you out there and you get that street power dog. That's you know the, that street power dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different than the street power that's cat. A, that's a that's a hot dog with caffeine. Yeah, dude. Power it's a dog. Walk. <laughs> Did you see that video with that guy, that kid? That kid told he had his grandma talk to the Google Home Play and tell him to play uh, that song by Cardi B, and she was like getting all into, it and then she starts talking about like vaginas, and, and the grandma just starts like laughing, dude, like hysterically laughing because yeah. she starts talking about like moist. Yeah, you got to get a mop. Things. Need a mop and bucket. And yeah, she was just like she was just like dying, and she was like she was like that was a dirty song. <laughs> if, you, if you eat my butt, your bottom feeder, that kind of stuff. I mean, and, you know, dude, you got to talk like you do when you talk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have an issue with that song at all? I don't give a F. Have you heard it yet? I have only heard what I heard in that video. It is a raunchy as hell, like, but I, it's a good song. Like two live crew type raunchy. Oh uh, yeah, like modern day two live. Yeah, and that's the thing is like people are saying like oh it's the degradation of music and it's getting worse i feel like the ish that was happening in the 90s was way yeah worse. i mean they had a song called me so horny well jonas <laughs> now listen i don't know if that's acceptable to be talking about the video <laughs> I'm just hey, look. You fine, whatever, dude. You want to talk? We can just talk I didn't about. Mention the video. I said they had a song called no. "Me So Horny." Let's just turn this into a sexual noise ASMR video. Why don't we? <laughs> we'll just we'll just make groaning noises for the rest of the video. Just be like, Ugh. Ugh. dude, that video is weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is weird? The, the two live crew "Me So Horny" video. Hey, there you go talking about the '90s again. I don't remember that. <laughs> You're the one who brought the video up. I did not. Oh, dude, we're Why? Leaving. No, no, you know that's you, not the you truth. You just said the video is. Oh, you mean our video? Yes, I said oh! let's just turn this video into a S A S M R. Oh, I thought you meant the video of like two live. No, dude. Okay, all right. Oh my God, I was just looking up some other dads. Leave it to Beaver's dad, dude. Adams family, Gomez, Adams. Oh, he seems like a B though. Wow, the Munsters? No, 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 none of these guys. 
plays a really good. He seems like a B. Happy days, Dad. Oh, dude. He, that guy seemed like a B. He's a square, bro. <laughs> Bill Cosby. Oh. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, dude. Him and the dad from Growing Pains are getting off really well. They would team up. <laughs> they would team up. It's not That's funny, funny, but, but it, it is, is though. though. Dude. Oh, my God. God, there has to... Uh, dude, those, oh. those sitcoms were something else. Oh, my God. See, I don't even remember the dad from the Wonders years. Mm. Oh, he was, ooh, he, was a, he was like the totalitarian father. Yes. He would be... He was always mad, dude. Like, Kevin was always in trouble, dude. Kevin. No, that's a different Kevin. Yeah, dude, he of, was always in trouble. Dude. Oh, the only thing I remember from the Wonder Years is the like crush I had on Whoa, Winnie Cooper. What would you do if I sang out of tune that one? Like I used to have a crush. Yeah, I know the song in the show. Oh, I Wendy. I just remember Winnie, Winnie. Winnie Cooper. I had a thing for in Topanga. Oh my God. Yeah. That was dude. my first direction. Ever? I'm sorry. Oh, what? That seems a little, a little <laughs> late. <laughs> a little late. Like I was 19. <laughs> First one I ever had. Hey, listen. I was like, what happened to my thing? Hey, listen. <laughs> my climbing jacket. <laughs> Episode 44, dude. <laughs> uh, third Rock, John Lithgow. Oh, third he would, Rock. He would cry on something. Ooh. That 70s show, Red. Oh, he, he would just, like, walk in and let people hit him. Yeah, I, I could see Red, like, F weapons. He would just bare knuckle fight you. Is it, is it coming down to the wire, Jones? Uh, not yet, no. I'm winning, and I just got the ball back. Oh. I, I came back. I, I, br I ended the deficit. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to win, Jonas. I can feel it. Arrested Development Dad isn't going to do too well in there. Oh, dude, Jeffrey Tabor, he'll, he's going to Bill Cosby and now I'm thick him, dude. <laughs> what? Why are we naming off all the, the rapey dads? <laughs> dude, you're the one who brought up the rapey dads. I don't know if you can say rapey dads either. I'm sorry if we can't say that on YouTube, YouTube. I think we can. We're too. We're long enough in the video. Ain't nobody watching this. <laughs> if you heard us say rapey dad and you're offended, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apologizing right just, now. There's nothing funny about it, but you know, it is kind of funny to think that these dads in a battle royale are just going to be like, "I, how can I get this pill inside another man?" Oh, <clears throat> suppositories. <laughs> Whoa, that's the only way it's going to work, dude. <laughs> uh, Doctor Evil was a dad. Ooh, I don't like um. You don't well, like. I'm a fifty, bro. I'm going for it. I'm going bigger, going home, dude. That's we'll take an L if we got to. I mean, We're winning, right? We can't, you know, we can't win them all, Jonas. <laughs> I mean, we have in the past. <laughs> I mean, look, we're talking about the Browns, and they have a positive record, dude. In, in real life, I'm happy. All right. Oh, oh he picked it off. Oh, he picked this it right a off of you. Dude. All right, we'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> what do you mean? Will, we'll see will what the happens. defense? Will the defense hold up? No, you, 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 I mean, it'll probably be into the game, right? Oh. We got one minute. Yeah, and how many points are you back? I can't see. I'm down score. three. Oh, you so can... I can even tie it if I have to. <laughs> so now I need to focus for a minute. Do you? So I think all in all. Oh, we lost. <laughs> so I think all in all. That's unfortunate, Jonas. It really is because it was a bounced effing pass. I think it's and a the at the end of the half, dude. I feel like it's a toss up between Bob Saget, uh huh, John Goodman, Uncle Phil. Oh, I got the ball back. Red from, uh, Red from that '70s show. I feel like I gotta toss Tim Allen in there. I wish there was another black dad I could fit in there, but I don't really feel like there is one. I, Carl Winslow is not in it. All right. Uh, you like? I think LL Cool J, dude. <laughs> dude, but the LL Cool J wasn't really the dad in it. He was just a nanny. He was the male figure in it. Yeah, but then we're just now we're just gonna start talking about just putting dudes in it. Then I just put like, oh, why not Mario Lopez? Ooh, what? Mario Lopez? Yeah. Roughing the passer, dude. You can get Mr. Belding in there. He was basically a dad. I mean, kind of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he he was a dad figure to the to all the college kids. To the no, oh, they were in high school. The high school Jones. kids, but <laughs> they were in high school. Yeah, dude. It's uh, coming down to the nitty gritty here. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, there has to be another another dad that we're forgetting. <laughs> There's a ton of dads we're forgetting, dude. But I'm, I can't go but so far back in time. And if you're wondering about why I didn't mention, like, The Parenthood or Blackish or any of these, like, shows that are on right now, it's because all those dads. Oh, and Al Bundy is definitely in the final. I effing scored. <clears throat> in the final circle. Did we win? Uh, we'll be up by a point <laughs> if we do this. Are you winning, son? I did it. I'm a winner. I won by one point. We're going to kneel. You're going to kneel? Oh, F yeah, dude. <laughs> like, to show social injustice or? Both. Okay, cool. Press F in the chat to show respect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you love to see it. James. Al Bundy. You think Al Bundy over all the dads? I think he doesn't give an F enough. Him or Red, I think, would like... I think they would stand there and punch each other in the face. I don't know, man. I really feel like Bob Saget is like one of the strongest. Wild card? Dads. He knows Muay Thai. But not in the show. I mean, like, he looks, dude, he has the reach. Like, who was the guy that beat Bruce Lee? I don't know. It was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's because he was, like, twice the size of, of Bruce Lee. He just, I, want, he just held his hand out. <laughs> basically, Bruce Lee's like seven foot. I mean, Bruce Lee is like two foot seven. He's like seven foot two. So he lost to him. So I could just picture Bob Saget like holding his hand out and just like kneeing you in the face a hundred times. Well, what's your what's your take? On what? Who wins? The, game, the match is over. What's your take on dad fight? Uncle, Who's your winner? Uncle Phil because, you know, rest in peace. I'm going out, Bundy. Oh! All right. Well, that's all time for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude, he does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I do Twitch things. TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at twitch.tv. All right. For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. out.